All right, everybody, let's draw Starry Night. Grab your white paper, make sure it's going horizontal. Grab your pencil, or you could draw with a black marker if you want. I'm gonna draw with a pencil, and then make sure you have your oil pastels. Let's start by just outlining some lines and shapes that we see in the background of the Starry Night picture. Now, we know that right down below here in Starry Night, there are some hills and a little village. So I'm gonna start by making kind of like a curvy line on the side here. And then another one down below. And I'm gonna kind of overlap those lines to make the shape of a hill. And then I'm going to continue a couple more. And then, I'm gonna hop and make a little space here and then continue a couple little hills in the background here. We're leaving a space right here because we're gonna draw that weird looking black figure area right there. All right, I'm gonna draw a moon up in the sky. And I'm gonna place a dot where I want the stars to go. The stars are kind of all throughout the picture. We'll draw that little village down below. We're gonna draw this kind of like wavy, weird shape that's coming up from the ground. It looks kind of like this. Start to make some wavy lines that go up and then back down. And I'm not quite sure what this is in the picture. Um, some people think that it's one thing and some people think that it's another thing. Um, some people think that this is like a tower that Leonardo, I'm sorry, not Leonardo, <laughs> Van Gogh was trying to draw, um, or paint rather, in his picture. And then some people are not quite sure that it represents anything realistic. Some people think that it's kind of uh, representative of Van Gogh's imagination or his emotion. He was kind of an emotional artist. He felt a lot of feelings very deeply. Um, and then some people are not sure what it is. They think it's a little bit creepy, but they're just not sure what it is. So I'm gonna leave that as is. We're gonna color that in dark later. And then down below here, we can make a couple little, little houses in this little village. He's looking up at the night sky and he's drawing this little village that he lived in. And again, he was really interested in light and movement and he used a lot of like very fast paint strokes to show that movement in light. All right, I'm gonna come down with the roof here. And then we can draw a few others. They're kind of hard to see in the picture. don't have to look perfect. They can look a little bit abstract. I know this one has like a big tower coming up from it. And then there's some other kind of hard to see. I would just make some little cubes, rectangles and squares, and that should be fine. All right, we're gonna stop here and then the color is what is really gonna make this come to life. So we just wanted to outline a couple of the little details here and then we're gonna get our oil pastels now and then go in with some color. So I'm gonna start, let's see here. That's a pretty good one that matches an oil pastel. I'm gonna start here with my yellow oil pastel. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to go around the star area here and I'm gonna try and practice making little dash lines kind of like Van Gogh. And so I'm gonna make, actually I'm gonna take some orange too. I'm gonna go back to my yellow. I'm gonna start to make those little dash lines around this star. Remember, those are called Impressionism lines. And the more I add here, the more this star looks like it's kind of shining in the sky. So I'm just trying to capture light. And I'm going to do that for each of my stars, actually. 
a little bit of orange in the center to show that they're glowing. And I'll go back to my yellow and I'm gonna keep making those dashed lines around. Some are bigger than others if you look at the real Starry Night. This one down below is really, really big. And he even used some white in there to make it look even brighter. And I'm gonna do this one. And then this one. My stars are not in the exact right spot as they are in this real Starry Night, but that's okay. And I'm just making little dashed lines with my oil pastel. You can put some white into some of these too if you want, kind of make that a little bit brighter and blend those colors. Then I'm gonna use my orange for the moon. The moon in Starry Night is a little bit orangey, a little bit yellowish. That got a little bit too thick. I'm gonna try that again. And then go back to my yellow and I'm gonna make those glowing impressionism lines around the moon. The moon is shining really bright in the sky. And some white. All right, now we know the sky is blue. So I'm gonna take my dark blue and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of blue lines in here in the white empty spaces to show the sky. Not too much because we want these to look still yellowish and whitish. But then once I get to the other part of the sky where there are no stars, I'm gonna start to do something like this. There is a big swirl in the sky of Starry Night. And it's one way that Vincent van Gogh was able to capture movement in the sky, almost like the sky is swirling and the clouds are moving. So I'm making a dashed line, little tiny lines all put together into one big swirl. If you want, you could draw this swirl with a pencil first to show you where you need to go. And then what I'm doing now is I'm just making this swirl a little bit thicker by putting many dashed lines around it. And then what I can do is I can even add some different types of blue. If you look at the real Starry Night, there's lots of different types of blue in there. There's light blues and dark blues. It's because Van Gogh was using some white and it was making parts of the sky lighter blue. So I'm gonna keep filling up the sky with different types of blue. Now, you are gonna see some white space in your background, that's okay. It would be kind of tricky to cover this whole picture. So don't try and cover the whole picture with your dash lines. It's okay if you see some white space. I am gonna try and go and fill in the background as best as I can. And I think I'm gonna switch up my blue again so I can get some darker blues in here. That was a little bit too dark. I'm gonna give this some variety, changing up my blues. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go over my swirl one more time so it comes back to life with my darker blue. Awesome, I like that. I'm gonna take my black now and I'm actually gonna color in some of these hills. Some of these hills are really dark. Like these over here and these over here are pretty dark. And then I'm gonna kinda outline the tops of these. Then I'm gonna go back in with my lighter blue. 
And I'm going to color in some of these hills with some longer dash lines with my blues. And darker in my lighter blues. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue to this area to make those hills stand out. This is looking pretty good. I'm going to take my black again, and I'm actually going to color in this mysterious figure. And if you look really closely on this part of Starry Night, Vincent van Gogh is actually using browns and blacks and some red areas. So I'm actually going to take my red put some little impressions and marks in here. It almost reminds me of tree bark. I wonder if it's like an abstract tree that he was trying to paint. I'm not really sure. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, there is a little bit of yellow in there too. Maybe I'll put a little bit of tiny yellow marks in there to show the texture of it show that the light shining on it. All right, I'm going to color in some of my houses over here. I'm going to give them some little yellow windows to show that it's nighttime. And then I'm mostly going to color them in blue and black. If you look at the real Starry Night, Van Gogh is using a very monochromatic color palette. That means he's using a lot of the same colors over and over to color in pieces of Starry Night, even though all these houses probably weren't blue. He's using that same color palette to keep it consistent. All right, I think I'm about done with my Starry Night. We've got the stars, the swirl, the big tower, the hills, the village. We've got most of the important things here. Um, if you look at Starry Night on your assignment and you see something that we missed, you can definitely add that in your picture as well. Remember, our goal is to make this look as much like Starry Night as we can so that when we put our funny pictures in here, people will be able to tell that it is Starry Night that we're making a parody of. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this little lesson about Impressionism and Starry Nights. Of course, you can keep adding a little bit more to the sky if you think you want to add more color to this. But I think I'm about done here. All right, stay tuned for next week when we add our funny parody pictures.